Brad, are you there? Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm here. How are you? Horrible, man. What's wrong? Dude, my dad took me to this cabin in the woods that he rented, and I don't even know why. For real? What about your mom? She doesn't like when you're alone with him, right? Yeah, but he was legit begging her. Bro, give your old man a chance. Maybe he changed. You never know. Nah, a normal dad would never take his kid to a freaking cabin in the middle of the woods. Straight up in the middle of nowhere? Here, take a look for yourself. So, yeah, this is the forest, and uh, here's the freaky cabin. Yay. Dude, I don't want to stay here. I, I, I really don't. And th there's nothing here except this house. Just this house, look. Oh my god, it's just pure forest. I mean, there's a little bridge and everything, but, you know, still creepy as hell. Bruh, that cabin is ancient. I know, right? And all around is just forest, nothing else. What about your dad? Is he enjoying this? He straight up left somewhere this morning. I'm here by myself, it's kind of creepy. What would you be scared of? It's just a forest. It doesn't even have wild animals or nothing. Maybe, but a weird thing happened today. What is it? I woke up today at 5 a.m. from the sound of somebody knocking on my window very lightly. Whoa, who could it be? Maybe it was just some tree branches. No way. Tell me more. I'm sleeping, right? And then I hear this soft knocking on the window like a fingernail tapping it. I didn't understand it at first. I thought I was dreaming. Did you look at the window? I did, but there was this thick fog. Maybe someone was hiding in the fog. Who knows? Just don't make a big deal out of this. I'm sure it's nothing. Just wait for your dad or sleep it off. Hey, Brad, you here? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Did your dad come back? Nope, he ain't here, and I don't think he's coming back tonight. He's probably in some pub, like always. Got it. You still scared being by yourself? Get this, there's a lake nearby like a mile away. When I was walking there, I saw some guy. No way, dude. What guy? Apparently, he was a fisherman. He was coming back from the lake, and when he saw me, he had this surprised look on his face. What surprised him so much? He asked me who I was with, and I said I was waiting for my dad. And then he said, what? He said that the locals don't let children even pick berries alone in this forest. Why not? What are there, bears or something? He told me this story that seven years ago, six children disappeared in this forest and never came back. Maybe he's crazy and making it up. But he wasn't lying. I googled it and it turned out to be true. They went into the forest in the evening and no one saw them since. Jeez, what else did he tell you? He mentioned that a tourist was found on a tree, dead. Apparently he died because of dehydration. Like he didn't have water? Exactly. 
The fisherman said that he was running away from something, climbed up the tree and was so scared to get back down. So he died there without food or water. Bruh, what kind of forest your dad took you to? Also get this, the fisherman said if the fog is too thick, it's better to stay home. And why is that? I don't know. I told him about what happened to me in the morning, and his eyes opened up like crazy. After that, all he said that this is bad. Dude, what a weirdo. Did he tell you any more crazy things? He also mentioned that looking out of the window while the fog is there is a bad idea. How so? Apparently, the locals have a rule to not look at the windows while the fog is out. What a creepy guy. He said that if I do see someone, I gotta make a run for it and don't look back. Maybe your dad will come back soon and you won't be so scared anymore. I, I really hope so. If something happens, text me. Brad, are, are you there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is your dad back? Dad's not here, but I'm 100% sure I'm not alone in here. What do you mean? I was about to fall asleep, but then that sound was there again. Is it the window again? No. This time, it was the door. I thought it was dad, but then I remember the fisherman's words. Do not open the door while the fog is thick. That's right, don't do it. I asked who it was, but I heard nothing back. Wait, when did this happen? Like right now. I'm still at the door. Bro, why? I don't know. I have this weird feeling that I want to open the door and see who it is. Excuse me? Like somebody's making me want to open it. There it is again! Somebody's behind that door. I, I, I know it. But... Uh, whoa. I feel very weird. Uh, he's trying to make me open the door. Are you positive it's not your dad? If it would be my dad, he would have said something by this point. Damn, who could it be? I have no idea, man. Is there any fog outside? Wait a sec. Yeah, and it's thick too. Dude, I'm getting a bit worried for you. Brad! Somebody just knocked on the window! No way! Yes way! And somebody's just standing there! Can you see someone there? Yeah, I can make out a figure of someone! A figure, uh, like a person? Try to take a video! I know somebody's behind that window. I gotta check it out. Uh, who could it be? Oh my god. W what's happening? Uh, what's wrong with my camera? Wha who is it? Wha I don't understand. Is your phone glitching? This is so freaky. I can't record it. Describe it then. Wait, I'll turn off the lights and try to see how it looks like. Whoever it is, it can't see me now. Alright, but be careful. I can see it. Who is it? Weird. Who? What is it? Tell me who is it. It's just a guy in a suit. And if I'm not... Seeing things? A guy in a suit? Yep. Maybe it is your dad after all. 
Nah, dude, my dad never wears suits. Also, my dad ain't that tall. Is he very tall? It's somebody freakishly tall and thin. What else do you see? I can't make out his face, but once I got away from the window, he noticed me, as if he is looking straight at me. Who could it be? I don't know, but I'm very scared. I I'll look again. What do you see? Oh my god! What? I took another look and I saw the guy in the suit move towards the window in a split second. He's right next to the window! What, like he teleported or something? Exactly! Wow, did you see his face now? Yeah, I, I mean, no. Which one is it? He doesn't have a freaking face! What? Just a white head without a face! Dude, that's Slenderman! Brad, what do I do? I... I don't know. Are you sure it's him? I'll try to take a pic. Be careful. I'm coming to the window. Oh my god, no way! That's so scary! That's really him! The video will resume in a couple of seconds, but for now, if you're liking this texting story and you want us to release this next part, hit the like button. The more likes this video gets, the faster we will release the next part. And now, back to the story. What do I do now? Up until this day, I thought he was an urban legend! Dude, your best bet is to stay home. Right? But the fisherman said that if I saw someone, it's best to make a run for it. Where are you gonna go? Run into the dark? No way, call your dad. I already called him like a million times. He's unavailable. So stay in that house. Brad, I don't think it's no longer an option to stay here. I need to escape. Why? What's happening? He's standing right at the window, and out of his back some weird tentacles are growing or whatever. Disgusting! What is he doing with them? He's reaching towards me. Those things are on the walls of the house. I think he's gonna crush it along with me. But if you run, he will chase after you. I know how I can trick him. How, Aaron? I'll put Bob in my place. What, what, who? What? You know, the training dummy who boxers used to train with. Where will you find the training dummy? And why Bob? It's in the house for some reason, and Dad gave him that nickname. He would say his name and punch it in the face all the time. Show me! Here. That's Bob. I, I think I can actually trick him with Bob. Let's do this, buddy. Cool. I close the blinds and I'm moving Bob towards the window. And then I'll make a run for it. That's a good idea. He's so heavy. Do it before he breaks the window. All right, I did it. Should I open the blinds? I think you should. Okay, I open them. He's looking at Bob. The tentacles stop. Where are you gonna run to? There's a construction site nearby. I'll hide in there and observe the situation. Did you make it out of the house? Yeah, I'm almost at the construction site. What do you see? Holy! 
Why? This guy is taller than I thought. The head is completely bald and white. He's like stuck and just looking at the window. And the tentacles? He's grabbing the window frame. I think he's gonna rip it out right about now. Sit still and be silent. I'm trying. I'm so scared. It's, it's like I'm frozen. I read that when people see Slenderman, they can pass out or freeze up. Well, why haven't I read any of that? Is he really in a suit? He's supposed to be in a black funeral suit. Yeah, he's in a black suit with a white shirt on. His hands are so slim and long. How many tentacles does he have? I can't see that clearly, and he's always moving them, but no less than six. Oh my god! It's like he has a spider on his back with giant legs. What is he doing? Oh my god! He took out the window frame! Glad you made it out in time. It's like he's taking his time, not in a hurry at all. What is he doing now? The fog is clearing up. He's reaching inside the room with his tentacles. Yeah, but Bob is waiting inside for him. You won't believe this, but he just grew in size. What? How? He just stretched out like a giant mantis. And what is he doing? His tentacles are going back in his back. And now he put his skinny hands on Bob. He's gonna choke Bob. I just hope he leaves soon after this. Maybe while he's choking Bob to death, you could get away from there. Where do I go? Is there a village or something close nearby? I mean, the fisherman must have come from somewhere. I just remembered. The fisherman left his phone number and told me if my dad doesn't pick up, I should give him a call. Okay, text him, call him, whatever, just do it. Okay, give me a minute. So, did you call him? Yeah, he picked up instantly. I told it about Slenderman, he only said one thing. What is it? Run to the lake or you're dead. Whoa, are you gonna do it? I don't know, what do you think I should do? I think you gotta run. Trust the fisherman. It seems he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. What about Slenderman? He bent over and went into the window. His feet are outside while his body is inside the house. Run! Okay. I'll text you later. Good luck, bro. Aaron, where are you? I'm in the forest. It's dark in here. I have no idea where the lake is. Isn't your map working? It's not loading. The internet signal is too weak. Where are you now? I'm on a tree. Why? The fisherman said to stay away from the fog. Is the fog near you? Yeah, out of nowhere, and it's so thick now. And there's no fog up in the tree? Luckily, it doesn't reach me up here. But you know what's interesting? What? Fog is always moving, like a cloud. I think that's how Slenderman moves around. Spot on, dude. That means that he's nearby. Where's the fog? Is it close to you? 
Yeah, it's right here. It's covering the whole tree. Don't think about him. People say that Slenderman can sense when you think about him. Easier said than done. He's all that I'm thinking about right now. I think he knows where I am. What makes you think that? His tentacles are coming out from the fog and touching the leaves and branches on the tree. He doesn't have any eyes. He either feels it or senses it. Ah! He's growing again! From the fog his head just popped out! His face is completely blank! There is actually nothing on his face? Yes! No nose, no eyes, and I think he has a mouth. How so? You know, like he has a face, but it's under a skin-tight mask, and I can see that he's opening his mouth under the mask. Like if he was screaming? Yes! It's like he has a mask for a face. What if you distract him? How? Maybe throw something in the other direction? I can either throw my phone or a shoe. Of course the shoe. Throw it. Okay. I'll text you back. Brad, it worked! Did you distract him enough? Yeah. I threw the shoe and I thought he would teleport there. And what did he do? And he did it. He teleported in a second. No way. One second he's here, the other he's gone. Did you run away? Where are you? I ran wherever I could see, but I did it in as silently as possible. And where did you end up at? A at the lake. What now? Did the fisherman tell you what to do next? No, and his phone is turned off. Are you on the shore? Yeah, the moon is out so I can see everything clearly. Where do you think Slenderman is at? I think he's near. How do you know? Is it the fog? Yeah, it's back and moving towards me. Run into the water. Are you sure? Well, there is no one else to run to. Okay. Are you there? Yeah, I'm in the water. It's pretty shallow, even though I went back quite a bit. Do you see him? Yeah, I, I think he's on the shore. Is he following you into the water? I, I don't think he can. That's why the fisherman told you to go to the lake. Slenderman is acting weird. He's trying to get me, but can't. What do you mean? Like he's teleporting everywhere. He walks very slowly, but he can actually teleport. Brad! Why? He grew even more now. No freaking way! Yeah, he's almost the size of Siren Head. Oh my god! The tentacles are coming after me! Will they reach you though? I think they will! Go deeper! I'm already shoulders deep! Go further! I can't swim! Is he close? He's on the shore, but he stretched out with his tentacles. That means he's scared of water. 
I'm already neck deep in the water. I'm barely texting you. I think it's better to drown than being killed by him. I can hear something. What is it? I don't know, like splashes, like somebody swimming. Slenderman? No, he's on the shore, but his tentacles can almost get me. What are you gonna do? I don't know, bro. If I don't come back online, that means I drowned. Aaron? Aaron! Are you there? Brad, I'm saved! Did you swim out of there? No, the fisherman saved me! Apparently when I called him, he immediately went to the lake. He had a boat! The fisherman saved you? Yeah, he picked me up on his boat. What about Slenderman? Yeah, he was going crazy on the shore. He was teleporting everywhere. Wow. The fisherman told me it was fine, that he won't go into the water. Are you guys still on the boat? Yeah. The fisherman said that he doesn't like getting his suit wet. Are you guys going to stay until the morning in the boat? The fisherman, whose name is Stan, told me that it's better to stay on the boat. Call your mom. Tell her to pick you up. Your dad messed up big time. I did. She's gonna pick me up soon. Well then, happy sailing. Thanks, man. Hey, 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 I hope you like this story, and if you want to see the next part of this video, hit that like button. The more likes this video receives, the faster we will upload the next part. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Chat, and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos in the future. Why not leave a comment about what you think about this video? I really want to see what you guys have to say. But for now, I hope you have a good day.